Gordy Roberts, like so many young people, grew up with a hockey dream. Yeah, I played there when I was a junior in high school. He has started in Detroit, Michigan, not far from the Olympia Arena. An original six city, he was right there, front and center. Detroit was a great place to grow up because it was so close to Canada. You know, we had all the you know teams around the Detroit area, but uh, you know, just going over the bridge tunnel into Canada. You know, I, early age, I already had the Canadians yelling they don't like Americans uh, back then, so uh, it was a pretty good uh, rival back then. At the age of 18, he signed into the WHA with Hartford. His brother, 33 years old, was already a part of the league and a big mentor. He found another one. You grew up in Detroit, Gordie Howe. There he is. Yeah. Then later in the WHA, you get to play on the same ice with him. What does that mean? It goes back even farther than that. Uh, I was named after Gordie Howe. My mother wanted to name me Clifford. Yeah. And thank God Gordie Howe was a popular name, and that's how I got named. And, really? Uh, ended up playing with him later on, so yeah. It was the beginning of an incredible 15 season career for Roberts, one that took him to St. Louis and some time with Brett the Jet Hall. Brett was just. You know, just got better and better in the uh, the shot, the chemistry he had with Adam Oates. Both guys ended up in the Hall of Fame, and uh, yeah, it was fun to watch the development of Brett Hall. He's a character on and off the ice. Face off, controlled by Minnesota. Back for Roberts. Roberts, a shot. He scores. He found home in Minnesota, a part of the North Stars, a part of the 1981 run to the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, it was a great run. Got all the way to the finals. We uh, lost against a more experienced team in New York, but uh, you know, it was kind of the first of my uh, seven and a half years here. It was a different time, a different place. The Met Center was home to the North Stars. A very special connection with Minnesota fans, and Roberts was there. I always talk to people that uh, went to our games in that time. More people that said that they used to sneak in the side through an usher or whatever, gave the guy five bucks or whatever. I wonder we didn't make any money back then. <laughs> you know, the After the Stars, he went the ultimate. As a member of the Pittsburgh Penguins, they beat Minnesota in 1991 in the Stanley Cup Finals. Roberts claimed two rings. It's kind of like you know running a marathon. You know, it's not fun when you did it, but uh, when it's over, when it's over, and you look back at it, you kind of appreciate it. Roberts' career spanned 1,000 games. The first American to do so. That earned him a spot in the Hall of Fame. It also earned him a jersey from his teammate. You know, being in the locker room and, uh, you know, the camaraderie that you have with your teammates, uh, you know, on the bottom of this, it says, uh, from the boys. And basically, Ray Bork was the captain, and he was the guy that uh, gave it to me uh, with the rest of the players in the room. And, you know, that's, that's kind of, you know, kind of a neat memory. Here we go. Come on, Alex. Let's go. Good play, Matt A. Nice. Good second effort. Good second effort there. He is now the head coach at Elk River High School. Come on, guys, big goalie, get it up top on him. A job that he seems made for. Here we go, let's go. I enjoy it. I mean, the kids are great. We uh, have a lot of you know, high-end practices, and that's where you do most of your teaching and coaching. And the games are kind of uh, you know, the end result of how you prepare your team. <laughs> what he's found is it really doesn't matter what level you're at, hockey and teams are made up of the same thing trust, loyalty, and relationships. They got a penalty, yeah, yeah, there we go. You know, and there's a wide range of kids on a high school team. I mean, there's some kids that, you know, have an opportunity to go on and play D1 hockey, and hopefully, you know, maybe NHL hockey. But there's also kids that maybe play three high school sports, football, baseball, and hockey, and, you know, this is kind of just uh, another sport for them, so you're trying to, you know, blend them into the team-type atmosphere and try and, uh, you know, get the most out of each kid that ends up being the end result of the team. But above and beyond that, he wants to make people better. Don't shoot the puck if you got, I mean, if it's 25 feet out, you got no one in front, all you're doing is giving the goalie the puck then, you know what I mean? He wants to make players better, he wants to make teams better, and that process of taking a team in November and hoping you're there in March, that's what brings him back to the ring. Here you go, guys. Nice shift. Way to go, Matty. We all end up having to play 25 games, and you know it's always a little bit more fun. There's nothing better in a high school locker room after a win, and the music's going, and the kids are high fiving, and you know we have our three stars of the game that coaches have, and you know you're in there. But then also, you know you get your butt kicked in uh, the humble side of you know coaching and walking into a locker room when it's dead silence and uh, kids are real disappointed and frustrated and. You know, that's the, the other side of coaching. That's the way to move it, Jake. Good job there. Chase, good shifts, good shifts. I like it. Yes, Gordy Roberts has seen it all in his hockey career. And if there was one moment in time that perhaps defines it or one that he reflects on the most, it was after one of those Stanley Cup wins. When he was able to take the cup and share it, 
with his father. It's kind of a great payback. I mean, you know, now with all the kids and coaching, I think that parents are so important to kids in hockey yeah. and everything else and that, that uh, you know, my dad's uh, passed on, but, uh, you know, it's a great memory and I appreciate uh, what they did for me. Life to the Max is brought to you by Life Touch, photography for a lifetime.